Now the new year is the perfect opportunity to try out a brand new healthy dish and Limerick's firefighting chef Paul Knapp joins us now to fire up our taste buds with a delicious and nutritious option. Good morning to you, morning, Paul. Morning, Happy New Year, Tim. And to you too. Now, you have said that you are 80% vegetarian. About that, This yep. is a vegetarian dish that you do. It is, yeah. Yep. I have just confirmed you're actually a flexitarian. I, yeah, I heard that actually, yeah, so now I've got a label, so I, feel, a label. I feel better about myself. Yeah. Absolutely. So now you're on trend. I am, yeah, yeah, finally. No, but I love this idea of vegetarian cooking and yes. I think it is often so much more flavoursome than meat, but if you are somebody who loves meat, you can throw meat into this. Well, absolutely. This. What this is, so this is a vegetarian chickpea and lentil curry, OK? It's really, really cost-effective. Uh, mm -hmm. It comes in under about six euros. It will feed about six to eight people. Incredible. Absolutely, as we said there. Uh, and you can, it lends itself to chicken, lends itself to beef, to pork, to lamb and to fish as well. So you can use it for absolutely everything that you want to do. We can batch cook as well, so we can make a lot of this. If we're going to be chained to the cooker, make quite a bit, we can portion it up and this will freeze really well as well for those days that we just can't be bothered to cook. Okay? And this is my New Year's resolution. And I think there are a lot of people out there who are under pressure, particularly parents, I'd say, who are watching with young kids who come in from work, have homework, and the idea of just cooking from scratch every evening oh, is too much. Absolutely, batch, yeah. batch, batch, batch. Batch cooking. So what we're going to do first of all is just going to sweat off some onions there. So there's a couple of nice sized red onions, alright? So we're just going to pop them in there and we'd sweat those down. Now ideally you'd want to cook these down for sort of like about five to ten minutes. So you until want them quite soft. You want to soften them down, absolutely, alright? So we're going to put those in there and I say what starts to happen is one of the reasons I cooked what I cooked earlier on this morning is it's nice to be seduced by smells. So you can smell the onions, you can smell the garlic, you fill the studio full of the herbs, the spices yeah. and stuff like that. And it's the anticipation of what's coming. You know, you walk Get in... Those taste buds. Oh, Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So like we're on, a, we're, on a, we're on a winner before we even get there. So we just start to sweat down these. And what I'm also going to do as well is, because we're using lentils and we're using chickpeas, I want to show you how versatile they are. So I've cooked some other things as well to show you that we can use them, not just in this one dish, yeah. but there's lots of things that we can use them for. And I think sometimes people get a little bit afraid I about what do we do with these kind of things. Uh, how do we even cook them? Absolutely, Maybe yeah. With chickpeas, you don't have to cook them. Oh, no, you don't, not at all. I mean, they can buy them now uh, tinned. Mm. Uh, again, they're dirt cheap, they're not expensive. No. Nope. To cook them, uh, you soak them overnight and you cook them for about 45 minutes until they're soft and tender, so they're easy enough to cook. But as and you again, say, in the tins. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Cheap as chips. I have cheap as chips. So we're just going to fry off our onions for a little bit, and then we're going to pop in there. There's about two onions, and I'm going to put in a couple of cloves of garlic Probably in there. You must have three cloves of garlic there, is it? Uh, Four, five... I won't judge you. There's <laughs> no, no such it, thing as too much garlic. No, exactly. Concerned. But it's down to taste. I say the recipe's on TV3's website. Uh, and everything that I cook is just a guide. It takes you from A to B. So if you want to put more garlic in, put more garlic in. It's entirely up to yourself. As I say, okay. there's no rules in my cooking. You can do whatever you want. All right? Now, the thing I think with curries, and it's a mistake I think I've probably made myself, is not giving the spices and not giving the garlic and not giving the onions enough time. You absolutely. do have to have a little bit of patience. Yeah, absolutely. An extra yes. few minutes makes a huge difference. Well, it does indeed. It? it does indeed. As I say, this has been done for TV time, so we're speeding it up, but okay. you should do. You should allow them to start to introduce themselves to each other. You don't just lob them in as a bunch of strangers and expect it to happen. Okay, you know what I mean? hello garlic, hello yeah, exactly, onions, yeah. this type of thing. So we just sweat those down. That will be done for about 10 minutes. And what we're going to pop into here now is we're just going to pop in some uh, ground coriander, some ground cumin, some garam masala, some smoked paprika and some turmeric. We talked about the wonderful anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric earlier on and we pop all this in. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to chop the chilli, I'm going to put the whole chilli in. I've just pierced the skin. So all I'm going to oh. do literally is just give it a little just give it a little stab. Okay, I'm going to pop that in there. It won't burn the mouth off of you, but it will get that taste of chilli, but without that kind of punch at the back of the throat. It means oh, you can't I taste love anything. That idea. For, yeah. And then you can just take it out. That's the end of it, absolutely. So we pop in our spices. Now if you're a confident cook, okay, what you can do is you can leave your spices on the heat. All right? Mm. Uh, be careful that you don't burn them. If you're not a confident cook, take them off the heat, put your spices in, maybe put a lid and just leave it there for a couple of minutes. Again, okay. it's about that introduction of all those spices, OK? So we just pop all those in there and we're just going to fry those off just so they don't get bitter or anything like okay. that, all right? So we pop those in there. And you just cook that in a little bit of oil, I take Just it. a little bit of oil, yeah. You can use any type of oil that you want. So okay. we just cook that in there. And then all we're going to bang into here now is a couple of tins of chickpeas. Go straight in there as well. OK. And you right. drain those off. Drain and, and give them a rinse. And give them a rinse. Yep, absolutely. And I'm just going to put in there a couple of tins of tomatoes go in there as well. Are these chopped tomatoes? Just chopped tomatoes? tomatoes, yeah. Now, with your tomatoes, if I was making, say, like a, a pasta sauce with a tomato sauce, I'd kind of up the cost of the tin of tomatoes because you really want to get that tin of tomato taste. But Could with this, because there's a lot of spices in here as well, I just use the cheaper end of the tomatoes. Oh, so really? I mean, oh, yeah. They were, okay. they were kind of next to nothing, like, you know. So that's basically all there is to it. We're going to pop up in there about a quarter of a cup of red lentils. All right. So they cooked. They are raw as it is. Okay. Oh, they're just brilliant. washed. All right. And they're going to cook in this dish because we're going to cook this in the oven for around about half hour or so or something like that till the lentils.
will soften. Now, the lentils are thirsty little people. They need a drink. They're either going to take all my tomato juice, or I'm just going to give about a quarter of a cup of water goes into there as well. So we just pop a quarter of a cup into water there. All right. All in one pan. One pan. No washing up or less Love. washing up. You can even eat out of this. Love the All idea right. of that. Oh, yes. That's what they do in the Mediterranean, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's what we do at the and fire then... station as well. And then we pop this in there. We're going to put a little bit of salt in there. All right. I uh, give cookery classes and I always say to people, the best thing you can do is do the best, do the basics, but the basics really, really well. Yes. All right. So we just give that a light little season. And all we would do is we bring that up to the boil. Now we could leave this on the stove and cook it on the stove, but you have to keep stirring it. I'm lazy. No. All right. So what Don't I'm going to do, for that. bring it to the boil and pop it into the oven. Now right. just remind people, what were the spices again? I put in some cumin, some coriander, some garam masala, some turmeric and some smoked paprika. Okay. okay? And I think those are things everybody should just they have, should have in their spice rack. Just yeah. buy them and experiment. Exactly. That's the whole thing about cooking is it is an experiment. We leave it in there for about, you can leave it in there for about half hour, something like that, and okay. about 180. Now what I wanted to show you as well is the versatility. So this has been in there now for a good while. Now that would feed six to eight people. All right. Well, mine, that's hot. It's a little bit hot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's gorgeous. All right. So now what we've got, I just want to show the first two. This is the chickpea and this is the lentil. All yes. right. So we've got brown lentils, we've got red lentils and stuff like that. So what I've made is a selection of vegetarian dishes. So we have hummus. We've heard of the chickpea hummus. All right. Love this. This is a sweet potato hummus. So it's 50% sweet potato, 50% chickpea. That's a roasted carrot and cumin hummus, both served with flatbreads. And then these are sausage-less sausage rolls, much to the disgust that the lads from the, the fire station sent me messages of abuse yesterday to say a sausage-less sausage roll. There's lentils in there, there's carrots in there and stuff like that, just in a puff pastry, just so it's normally like a sausage roll. And we'll put the recipes for those... I'll put the recipes up on TV3's website. Yep, absolutely, there's no problem with that. OK. And then now what we have here, really important, portion size, OK? okay. 100 grams of brown rice, 100 grams of quinoa, 100 grams of cauliflower rice. That's all you should need? That's a portion size. 360 calories. OK. 100 calories. 25 calories. That's the cauliflower That's rice. cauliflower rice. It's just cauliflower florets pureed up into a food processor, cooked in the oven for about 10 minutes, job done. But 25, 25 calories, calories. As opposed to? 360 calories for 100 grams of brown rice. And there's probably more nutrition in that too, there is. This is a, what cauliflower? Cauliflower needs to get the same <gasps> marketing team as quinoa. You're, okay. you're ahead of yourself. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that one as well while you're there. I will Cauliflower indeed. needs to get the same marketing team as quinoa and, coria and, and, quinoa and kale because it's phenomenal okay. for us, okay? So what we've got here is we've got some we'll of the... i taste this. Yep, no problem, just dish up the yeah. just mind it is hot. Okay, just mind yourself there. Just... So this is the quinoa that I'm that's trying to That's the quinoa with. there. And then there's another one here that's just got some brown rice on it as well. Lovely and colourful, okay. Okay. So mind yourself, it is hot. Mm. What we can do is we can finish that with a little bit of green if you want, if you're a green fan, Lovely. and there's some yoghurt that you can serve it with. A little bit of coriander, A little bit it? of coriander. But as I said there, more importantly, look at the size of that for 100 grams, look at the portion size, and nutritionally, and the this is phenomenal for you as well. Fantastic, like, you know, as always, Paul. Love your recipes. Straightforward, healthy, nutritious. And not too yourself. expensive. Not too expensive. About six euros for the whole of all of that. Wonderful, and happy new year and to you. And We'll see you throughout the year, Evan. Thanks no very doubt. much. Cheers. Still to come on Ireland M this morning, we're going to have some top tips on how to detox your skin after all the festive excess with our resident beauty expert Jennifer Rock, a.k.a. The Skin Nerd. We'll see you in five.